Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the heating element on your dishwasher. It's a really easy job. All we'll need is an adjustable wrench and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, it's easier if we pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets altogether. So we'll have to start by turning off the power to the dishwasher, locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. We'll also need to turn off the inlet water supply. Once we've done that, we can then take the access panel off at the bottom, remove that so that we can access the inlet water valve. We'll need to disconnect that supply at that point. We'll also need to disconnect the power to the terminal block in the bottom as well. You may also require the drain hose to be disconnected and you'll need something to collect any excess water that may be in that drain hose. Now once we've done that, we'll then disconnect these two tabs at the top that are secure to the bottom of your countertops. Once we've done that, we can pull the dishwasher out and we can lay it on its side and do the repair. Now that we've got the dishwasher out of the cabinets, we've removed all of the items inside the dishwasher as well as the lower rack. Now next we're going to take these two wire terminals off of the element. We'll use our needle nose pliers to just grasp the terminal ends and pull them off and inspect those terminals and the wire ends to make sure there's no signs of any corrosion. And if there is, you'll need to replace the terminal ends on the wires. Well, next, we'll take our adjustable wrench and we'll remove these large plastic nuts. Now next we'll stand the dishwasher back up, we'll open the door and we'll remove the element from the inside of the tub. Now that we've removed the retaining nuts from the ends of the element, we can lift that up through the opening in the tub and then we'll just manipulate that around the metal supports. Pull it completely out. And next we'll need to remove the rubber washers off of the ends of the element and we'll reuse those on the new one. We'll discard the old element. Reinstall the rubber gaskets and we'll make sure that that openings in the back of the tub are clean and dry. Then we need to position that element into the supports. And then drop the terminal ends of the element down through the openings at the back. We can close the dishwasher up again and we're going to carefully lay it on its side so that we can reinstall the retaining nuts. Now that we have the new element in position, we're just going to pull those terminals down through the tub openings and then install the nuts. And once we start those on there, we can pull that terminal end into the center of the opening. And we'll take our wrench and tighten those securely. Now next we can reinstall the wires to the terminals. Make sure they're pushed on firmly. And if they appear a little bit loose, take your needle nose pliers and just crimp them slightly. We're now ready to stand the dishwasher back up and we can reposition it into the cabinets, secure the tabs at the top, reconnect our inlet water supply and our electrical, put our tow panel back on, and then we'll be ready to turn the power back on. We can now reconnect our power and turn the water supply on and our repair is complete. 